I mean, is the concept of a government acting with restraint completely alien to you? <laughs> this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... What happened in there? And by the way, it wasn't full up there, so they got lied to about that. What happened in there? Hmm? What happened in there? Oh, I got voted. They voted in favor of the Bearcat. 11 to 4. So they needed, we, we would have needed it to be 10 to 5 for it to be voted down? Uh, don't, I, I really don't. Yeah, a two-thirds vote was required. I okay. see. Okay. All right. What was your sense of the, the the crowd size in there? Was it really at capacity? No. No. It wasn't. There were empty seats, and there, there were, were empty seats, and there were plenty of room. Standing. There were a lot of they people that could have been fit in there. Uh, they, they, all these people should have been allowed up there. There's plenty there of room for them. Many, many policemen at the back. There, they Did were. Did you have a total sense of how many cops there were in the room? No, I didn't. Okay. A lot, at least ten. I've only counted six so far, so that's an interesting piece of news. All right, thanks. <laughs> Are you with the council, sir? Me? Are you no, with the council? Are you with the Concord government? I am not. Okay, no. thank you so much. Thank you. Are you on the council, sir? No. Are you with the Concord government? No. Oh, okay, thanks. Who, 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 who? One of the, I don't know who he was. He was standing out there and I had my phone on him. And he said, years? No, 12 years. Now these people, are, these people are coming in through an alternate entrance. It looks like I'm not sure that, that uh, you and me will be able to interview those people. Now, could I ask, are bureaucrats and politicians being allowed in an alternate entrance there? Is that what's happening? We're at 49 people up there right now, so they can come in. So. I see. But I mean, are they coming in a back way or an alternate entrance so they don't have to face questions? No. So I could go in through that door if I wanted to. I could be in that room and. That was his office. I see. Who was that? That was the code enforcement officer. Yeah, well. Pardon? Code enforcement officer. I see. Okay, all right. So it's a separate issue. All right, thanks so much. So I can go up there now if I want to? Yeah, you always could go up there, sir, assuming that there was within capacity. And you absolutely can go. All right, thanks so much. There's not 100 people up there. I beg your pardon? There's not 100 people up there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Now, sir, why wouldn't you answer my questions earlier about whether you hold a government position and what that government position is? Hi, I'm Billy. How are you? Who are you? I don't think so. But the building would have emptied out. Nice. You don't want me to move into your community because I'm a listed candidate. Well, this is what I can do without spending any money. Thank you. I'll be happy to provide the information. Yeah, we, we send that report. Application for this 
harbor raft. Would it be, for instance, if there was a city street that was flooded? Be, uh, it, <coughs> where, where would you use it? It would be used in conjunction with water rescues. Uh, as the council is aware, we, we do have one of the people refer to it as you know the, the mini boat, and it's more for carrying equipment, and it would be. Liberty.org.